everybody this is Jennifer with DP Addiction Adventures and you guys are witness I'm laying it all out there I have a problem <laughs> I feel like I should be in an AA meeting um, I'm gonna turn my light on so maybe you guys can see a little bit better um, I feel like I should sit here and say hi my name is Jennifer and I am a diamond painting addict but I don't want to stop being an addict. So <laughs> we're just going to forget about the whole meeting and we're going to dive in to my new segment on Sundays. We're going to see how long this lasts. It is the Stashin' Sunday, su Sunday Stashin', however you want to call it. Um, basically, it is going through different stashes that I have. So I did put out a video, I'll put it up in the eye, somewhere around here. I did put out a video of the first part of three of my diamond painting stashes, but I'm also gonna take a step further and, and every Sunday explore the world of my addiction. So one week it might be the stash of my waxes, what works well, what doesn't, what I've found, sticky tack, all that fun stuff. Maybe one week it's trays, different trays I have, what works, what doesn't work, what I love, what I don't love, what, um, you know, things that companies send. Maybe one is storage, drill storage. Maybe one is accessory storage. Maybe one is my diamond painting pens and what I love and don't love and where I get them from. So I just figured, you know, stashing Sunday, Sunday stashing is what we're going to do. And so this is part two of my diamond paintings. These are what I want to call like the David and Goliath. So these are my smaller paintings um, that are in my drawer over here, as well as my big kahunas that do not fit in that portfolio I showed in pa um, part one of this three part series. So let's get in. Um, again, just a little FYI. Some of these I remember where I got them from. Some I do not. So I apologize if there's links, if there's not links, all of that kind of stuff. So first, um, I loved when Diamond Art Club came out with their diamond cards. Um, they sent me several that I could do with my refugee clients in a group therapy session. Um, but there were a few that I really loved and so I bought some for myself. So I have two of these Santas. I have one of the Rudolph and this one was my favorite. That's why I haven't done it because I'm like, I don't know if I want to send it out. So I have one of Santa's feet and it says ho, ho, ho. So, um, then I review sometimes for, um, home craftology and San, Santa Direct. They're both pretty much the same company off of Amazon. And let me see here. I've given a lot of these away because I figured if I got them as a review and if I'm not going to do them, I'm going to give them away. So this one, the, these all are 30 by 40s um, round. So this one is, I don't know if you can see the thumbnail, but it's a snowman with a little red hat. Maybe my light going off will be better. I don't know snowman with a red hat and um, I've given a lot of these like I said away to different friends to my friend's daughters and so let me see all right so this one oops so I got a four pack that was like a snowman series okay so this is the second one out of the two that I have left snowman so one of them I actually did one I gave away and then I have two left then I got a series on um, like landscapes and so this one is like a lake with some purple flowers in the sky like at sunset 
This one again, these I think are all Sunset Lakes. And then this one I don't know if you can see through the wrapper is like a boat. I'm doing these all upside down, I'm so sorry. So that's a boat. Um, great, I'm great with these packages. I'll go through these real quick because I was doing them upside down. So this one is that snowman with the red hat. This one is the snowman by the light pole. This one was the purple flowers. Let me turn that light back on. And then this one was the sunset. And this one um, got rolled back the opposite way. Okay, so this one, I, it's not with Santa Direct. This is from a different company. Okay, so then I had another four piece series of. Um, what do you call it? Another four piece series of Cardinals. And I think I showed that in my first part one video and I gave most of those away. This one was a sunflower one I got off of Amazon. I did an unboxing of it. It was like $3. It's around as well. And forgive the crinkle. But if I don't put it back right now, I'm going to lose. Yeah, my craft area is a mess right now. Okay, and then these were ones that people sent me when I just needed a little pick-me-up. They're gorgeous. This is a partial girl in the dress. Super cute, bright colors. And then this one was super cute as well. It's a seal. Or no, White Owl. Forgive me. Um, and this is round as well. So this was a thank you gift. All right, so I'm going to pause you. It's only going to be a millisecond for you, but a minute for me. I'm going to put away these small ones so we can look at the big ones. Okay, okay and we're back. So let's start on some of these big ones. This I unboxed in front of you guys. It is... Like 180 colors. I mean, I'm not kidding. Look at this key over here. It goes all the way down the canvas. This is from the Pink Raspberry. And this is the Northern Lights. So I cannot wait to work on this one. This was one from Crafty Mint when they were trying to get new artists. It is a, um, what do you call that? Like a Phoenix? So this is 37 colors. It's really big. I don't see on here. I think it's on there. It's gorgeous, the colors. Um, I think it's on the inventory sheet how big this is, but I did recommend that maybe put it on there's, this is from Diamond Art Club. This is a Chuck Penson with 42 colors. It is a 71 by 56, and it is called A Moment on Memory Lane. Super excited. I was going to do this one, and then I found The Sweet Life for my grandmother for her birthday. This is a partial that I received. Um, it's a 40 by 50 and I do have a subscriber. I will be sending you the symbol list right here. But in case you watch this before I can send it to you, here's the symbol list. Um, however, I hope that works. I hope the things are numbered for you. 
But this was mostly ABs, which is why I got it. Um, this is from Wizardy Art. I just opened this recently. It's 31 colors. I can't wait to work on it. It's called Blue Drop. It's 38 by 48. This, oh, I'm so excited. This is going to be one of my Slash the Stash 2020 um, that I'm going to pick back up because I'm like a third of the way done with it. It's the White Tiger from um, Blushing Blackbird on Etsy. Um, I just, I love it. It's so beautiful. Christine did an amazing job. Um, and it's poured glue and I can't wait to work on it and get it framed. It's gonna be gorgeous. This is my Victoria's Moon. I did a review on it. I'm only, you know, I love the colors themselves. However, the design layout, it wasn't, one this big should not be this blotchy. And so I just feel like the computer didn't do a great job at um, charting this. And so this is what it's supposed to look like. I love this image, so maybe I'll look into it someplace else. Can you see that? It's, you can't see what you're seeing. There we go. It's a little girl angel inside um, a gorgeous gazebo in the night sky. All right, so this is a huge one from Huacan. Um, this I wanted to do and put in my office at work. It's We the People um, for Dignity. It is an 80 by 60. I'm really scared to do it though because I got it during the drill Armageddon last, I would say, 2018. And so I'm going to try and if it's, they sent me new drills, so hopefully the drills are better. I'm going to try it out and see. It is 50 colors, but I'm super excited about that. Okay, so this one is a 90 by 60. It's a gorgeous girl. And guys, my friend got this for me because she was encouraging me to go big back when I first started. And I'm so thankful for her encouragement, but I don't know if I'll ever do this one. Um, I'm not a huge pink and purple fan. So if anybody sees this video out there and would like this one, I will send it to you at the cost of shipping it to you um, because I want it to go to somebody who actually is going to absolutely love it. Um, I'm not trying to make any money off of it. So I will say, oops, sorry, I just hit my tripod. I will say, though, that it's, you know... I can't guarantee the quality of the drills because, oh, little buggy there. Um, because it was purchased during the drill Mageddon. So I do have brand new drills for it, but I can't guarantee that it would be great. Also, um, you know, it's been hanging for quite some time, but hey, it's a, a free painting, right? Um, I'll roll it and ship it to you if you want it, if you want to pay for the shipping costs that are associated with it. All right. This is a gorgeous girl that I started on two years ago. It's a 70 by 40 from Who We Can. It's a little girl and her penguin. However, the popping drills are insane. So what I think I'm going to do is not use the drills that they sent me, um, but I think I'm going to get into my kit and see how many I can get out of my current storage. I don't want to, I don't like it enough to spend money on new drills for it through an Etsy site. But I do really want to get this image done and maybe put in my portfolio with the plastic. Um, 
but yeah, no matter how much I push down, I actually, for the book I wrote, this was my example for the popping drills. And so, yeah, it's been sitting for two years <laughs> waiting for me to touch it again. So I might, now that I've collected more drills, like extras, I might see if I can use my extra drills for it. But it's super cute. Um, it's the little girl. Whoops. I always do that. I go too fast. But she's adorable. Um, so I don't want her to go to waste. And that's part of the Slash the Stash 2020. I wanted to do like the Blushing Blackbird or this one. Where I just, ones that I've worked on, I want to problem solve. This was... A diamond art club that I absolutely loved this is the one that got me interested in diamond art club I saw abstract crafter brandy over there um, this is called tell me stories by diamond art club and so um, I can't wait to work on it I just haven't decided when to work on it yet and I think the biggest reason is I don't have any place to put it once it's done because it's so big All right, so here is a picture of my daughter when she was three. Again, the reason you see all these large Hua cans is because back in 2018, um, they had a custom sale where it was like $8 for a custom that was like a 70 by 50. And so I went wild and got all these customs, but then Dromageddon happened. So my theory, which I could be wrong, is that maybe Huacan got really bad drills and thought, hey, let's get rid of them and have this really big sale. I hope I'm wrong. <laughs> okay, so this is my daughter when she was three. We had our family pictures taken and I just thought that was super cute. But this is a 70 by 50. And like I said, most of these, I think they um, sent me new drills for. All right. So again, this was back in 2018, guys. So I was learning about licensing. That's why I have some gorgeous girls. That's why some of these are um, the images they are. But that was, that was, I learned, right? I learned on the journey. So I still have them. Um, this one I did not realize at the time who um, who was who, what artist went with what. And so this is, now it's a Mandy Manzano, but I had gotten it as a custom from Who I Can. But please do not do that. Give the artist the rights. Um, I actually, that's why I haven't done this one. Um, because I, I'm like, you know, and I probably at some point may order it from Diamond Art Club just so that the artist gets her due. This is also another custom. It is a 60 by 60. I'm just really into, I got it in 2018. I'm really into hot air balloons. I just love this color palette. And so that's why I got it. It's just beautiful. I'm hoping, look, <laughs> it's like all the same color in some areas, but I think it'll be a lot of fun. Let's check out the middle and see what we got here in the middle course we pick one that's not ripped because I might rip it okay so yeah so it's still super sticky it's been you know a year and a half since I purchased this so I'm excited and then this one is also a hula can this is another gorgeous girl I hope to do this in the fall for slash the stash it's got a little kitty cat she's holding a book she's laying in the leaves and it's got some of my favorite color palette in it. So that is part two of three of my slat or of my um, stashing Sunday, Sunday stashing <laughs> diamond paintings. The next one will be in a couple weeks for diamond paintings. Next week, I'll do something that's not diamond painted related because it does take a lot of time for me to clear off my desk, but the next diamond painting part three conclusion will be all of the diamond paintings I have that are boxed. So more Wizardy Arts, uh, 
canvas, crystal canvas, diamond art club, uh, diamond dots, leisure art, streamer designs. Um, we'll be going through all of those and probably a few others. So I love you so much. I hope that you're okay and you enjoyed the stash video. And I will see you next Sunday for another uh, stash and Sunday. Until next time, be blessed. Bye-bye. Hey, just wanted to tag this to the end of the video because I had some runaways. They were hiding behind me. I put them on a shelf behind me. Wanted to just show you. So this is a little zebra that I got um, from AliExpress. It comes with the frame that you put it in. You do this circle part, you cut around it, and you stick it in the frame. It is rhinestones. These are, this is the cardinal I was talking about with um, Banner Direct. So here's one, the other cardinals I've given away. I don't know if you can see that okay. And then this is the third snowman. He's holding a little cardinal guy there. And then I have two journals. So these are special stone journals. And this one has a turtle on it. I only collect turtles in the area of diamond painting. Otherwise, my favorite animal is an elephant. And then I have this journal. which is kind of more of like a mandala feel to it so yeah so yeah i just wanted to put this little tag on the end because i saw these just chilling behind me i was like oh my gosh they were trying to run away so thank you so much i love you guys until next time bye bye